Kotun kungiyar kasashen Afirka ta yamma ta Ecowas ta yi watsi da karar da Jamhuriyar Niger ta shigar. Ana gudanar da taro tsakanin kasashen Turai da China inda tattalin arziki ke daukan hankali. Shugaban Rasha ya ce kasar sa na samun bunkasan tattalin arziki da da takunkumin kasashen yammacin duniya. Shugaban hukumar Tarayyar Turai Urzala von der Leyen ta shaidawa shugaba shi Jinping na kasar China cewa ya dace bangarorin biyu da suke da cinikayya mafi girma su dinke barakar dake tsakanin su shugabar ta bayyana haka lokacin taro karwa na farko na keke da keke tsakanin shugabannin kungiyar kasashen ta Turai da na China cikin shekaru hudu da suka gabata dake zama karan farkon bangarorin na China da Turai suna kuma neman hanyoyin gyara dangantakar diplomasiya da ta yi tsami ana sa bangaren shugaba shi Jinping na China yayi gargadin cewa bai dace Turai da China su dauki juna a matsayin abokan gaba ba ko kuma su yi fito na fito da juna saboda sabanin tsarin siyasa inda ya kara da cewa ya dace duk bangarorin biyu su yi aiki tare domin samun ci gaba yanzu haka ana ci gaba da gudanar da taron a birnin Beijing na kasar China Kotin kasashen yankin yammacin Afirka ta Ecowas ko sidi yawo ta yi watsi da karar da Jamhuriyar Niger ta shigar kan matakan da aka dauka na takunkumi bayan juyin mulkin da sojoji suka yi inda kotin take cewa gwamnatin mulkin sojan ba ta da hurumin kalubalantar duk wani mataki da kungiyar Ecowas ta dauka don kare tsarin demokradiya tsakanin mambobin kasashen ta a yankin yammacin nahiyar Afirka tun bayan da sojoji suka kifar da gwamnatin Muhammad Bazum a Jamhuriyar ta Niger a watan Yuli na wannan shekara ta 2023 kungiyar raya ta talan arzikin kasashen Afirka ta yamma Ecowas ko sidi yawo ta dauki mataki rufe iyakokin ta da Jamhuriyar Niger a wani mataki na nuna fushi kan yi wa demokradiya karantsi matakin ya haifar da matsin tattalin arziki da sauran harkokin gudanarwa a cikin Jamhuriyar Niger wannan yasa gwamnatin mulkin sojan ta gurfanar da kungiyar Ecowas a gaban kotun kungiyar da ke birnin Abuja fadar gwamnatin Najeriya ta zumar samun dama dage mata takunkumin kare tattalin arziki rundunar sojan kasar Guinea Bissau ta nuna makamai masu sarrafa kansu da rokoki gami da albaru sai da ta bayyana cewa an samu daga wadanda ake zargi da yunkurin juyin mulki a cikin makon jiya kasar dake yankin yammacin Afirka shugaban rundunar sojan kasar General Bagna Tan wanda yake ce gaba da biyayya wa gwamnati ya nuna makaman da aka kama a birnin Bissau fadar gwamnatin kasar shi dai shugaba Umaro Sisiko Embalo na kasar ta Guinea Bissau yana birnin Dubai na hadaddiyar daular Larabawa inda yake halartar taron sauyin yanayi na duniya da ake kira COP28 lokacin da lamarin ya faru ana sauraron labaran daga nan sashin Hausa na DW Shugaba Vladimir Putin na Russia ya bayyana cewa kasar sa tana samun bunkasan tattalin arziki na kashi 3.5 cikin dari a wannan shekara ta 2023 dake kawo karshe abinda yake nuna sake zaburar tattalin arziki da kasar ta samu idan aka kwatanta da shekarar da ta gabata ta 2022 da aka samu bunkasan tattalin arziki na kashi 2.1 cikin dari shugaba Putin ya shaidawa yan kasar sa cewa tattalin arzikin zai ci gaba da bunkasa duk da matakan matsi da aka saka wa kasar ita dai Russia ta fuskanci takunkumin kare tattalin arziki a farkon shekarar da ta gabata ta 2022 lokacin da ta kaddamar da kutsan mamaya kan makwabciyar ta kasar Ukraine Daya daga cikin bankunan kasar Faransa da ake kira Societe General ya bayyana a wannan alamis cewa ya amince da matakin sayar da ayyukan da yake ya kasashen Burkina Faso da Mozambique ga wani kamfani da ake kira Vista Group wanda yake da mazauni a kasar Guinea a cikin wata sanarwa bankin na Societe General ya ce da harkokin sa na kasashen zai koma karkashin kamfanin da aka sayarwa da ayyukan shi dai bankin na Societe General yana da matakar tasiri a bangarorin harkokin kudi da hadahadar kasuwanci a kasashen na Burkina Faso da Mozambique 
ma sauraro gaba daya da aka maka kawo ƙarshen labaran daga nan sashen Hausa na D dubilu mu saki kuma gare ka Abdul Karim Muhammad Abdul Karim to ga da Suleiman Babayo da labaran duniya zage na farko DW arkokin yau to madalla nan gaba ka dan a cikin shirin muna tafi da shirin taba kalashe da shirin siyasa da ma wasikun ku ko masu sauraro to amma kai tsaye bari mu tafi rahoto na jar Kaduna inda daidai lokacin da majalisar dinkin duniya da amnesty international tare da sauran kungiyoyin kare hakkin bil adama ke kira da gaggauta daukar mataki tambayan da sojoji suka saki ba ma bamai da suka halaka mutane kusan 100 yawancin su mata da kananan yara ita ma majalisar kwalita addinin musulunci kasar ta yi kira da gaggauta da garin an dau mataki tare da hukunta wadanda suka aikata wannan kamar yadda za ku ji karin bayani daga wakilinmu na Kaduna Ibrahim Yakubu majalisar kwalita tabbatar shari'ar musulunci a Najeriya fitowa ta yi karara tana yin kira ga gwamnatin tarikiyar Najeriya akan yin adalci ta hanyar biyar diyya da kuma kula da sauran marasa lafiya dake kunci a asibiti tare ma dai da gyara mahallin mutanen a ciwar malam Abdullahi Bayero kakakin majalisar a Najeriya kiran mu shine ita gwamnatin tarayya ta biya diyya na wa'annan rayukan bayan Allah da salwantar sannan ta gyara musu mahallin su domin a ce wannan waje ya zama abin tarihi da iyaye da jikoki da za su zo su ga abin da ya faru da yan uwansu to yana da tashin hankali gyara musu mahallin su a kyautata mazaunin su sannan kuma a yi wani abu na kyautatawa bayan an biya su diyya majalisar ta dauki kwanaki biyo jan kai ziyara kauyen da al'amarin ya faru domin jajanta wa yan uwa da masu zama makoki tare kuma da kai ziyara asibiti domin karfafa saura marasa lafiya to sai dai a cewar ta lokaci yayi na kawo karshen kurakuran da ake samu a irin wannan lokaci a cewar dai alhaji abdullahi bayero an ce fa an yi amfani ne da jirgi mara matuki yanzu idan har ana da jirgi mara matuki inda za a samu ya je ya kai hadi irin wannan dan me ba za a ji wajen yan ta'addan da suke daji da an san sunan su an san inda suke an san komai game da al'amarin su a ji a aiwatar da irin wannan al'amari gare su wanda dama domin su aka yi wannan abu sai a zo wajen bayan Allah da suke tsaka da bautan ubangiji tsakanin su da ubangijin su dadi da kari kuma shine wa'inda suke asibiti akwai bukatuwan a ce an musu kula na musamman wanda jinyan su ya tsananta to a fitar da su kasashen waje domin su samu kula na musamman a wajen kwararrun likitoci saboda rashin kayan aiki da wasu abubuwa da ake kokarin da ake fatan a samu wanda zai iya kula da lafiyar su to ne ita ma dai wata kungiyar kare haƙƙin bil adama a Najeriya wato rigar yanci international karkashin jagorancin comrade Khalifa Mustafa ke bake nawa da cewa ya dai kamata a dauki da tsauran hukunci ga wadanda suka aikata wannan danyen aiki zai wahala ko wani ya iya gamsar da mu cewa wannan abin ne ya faru ba ganganci ba wannan ganganci ne kai tsaye kuma wauta ne kai tsaye baka ganin sun ce kuskure akai to ta ya za kai kuskure bayan minti 30 ka sake dawo ka sake irin wannan kuskuren sunan shi ganganci da a ce sau daya ne sai a ce kuskure akai kuma sannan abin da muka sani jami'an tsaro wadanda suke wadanda suka dade sun harka tsaro sun yi mana cikakken bayani cewa ba zai yi a saki wannan bomb din ba tare da izinin a kalla mutum bi uku ba kuma dole sai an duba sai an tabbatar da abin hara da aka hara shi din ne kafin a saki to kenan sun aso su ce mana rashin kwarewa ne ko ko a a akwai kwarewar amma gangancin ne kamar yadda mutane suke zargi dan haka kiran da babban kiran da muke ga gwamnati shine ta tabbatar cewa an hukunta wadanda suka yi wannan aika aika don mu a wurin mu sunan shi aika aika ba Allah wa dai kai muke so mu ji ba Allah wa dai mun sha jinta mu abin da muke so mu gani shine a kawo su a gurfanar da su gaban kuliya duniya ta shaida wadannan sune suka yi wannan operation din a wannan ranar kuma duniya ta shaida cewa kotu ta hukunta su daidai da dokar da tattanadar da wanda irin wannan aikin a hukunta shi daidai da wannan hukunta wata tawagar kristocin arewacin Najeriya karkashin jagora rancin pastor Hana Buru ta kai ziyarar asibiti dan jajantawa wadanda ke kwance yanzu haka domin karfe zumunci tsakanin musulmai da kirista a yau alhamis ne ake salan ziyarar mataimakin shugaban kasa Alhaji Kashim Tasima da gwamnatin jihar Kaduna Ubasani domin zuwa jajantawa yan uwa da sauran dangi da al'amarin ya shafa Ibrahima Yakubu sashin Hausa na DW daga Kaduna a Najeriya to daga Kaduna sai makwabtar jihar ta wato Kano inda yanda masana da sauran jama'a ke ci gaba da martani dangane hukuncin kotun tarayya na rufe asusun gwamnatin jihar Kano don biyan diyar naira biliyan 30 ga mutanen da aka rushe shaguna a babban musallacin idin Kano da gwamnati ta ce an gina ba bisa ka'ida ba wadanda matakin ya shafa sun yi marhaban da hukuncin to da yake sun ce akwai sauraron a kaba daga Kano wakilin Munasir Salisu Zango ya aika mana da karin bayani akai 
Magana rusawu da gwamnatin Kano ta yi musamman na shagunan masallacin ED ta tafi amma kuma ta bar baya da kura bayan da tasirin ta yake ci gaba da sosa zuciyar gwamnatin jihar Kano zuwa yanzu dai babbar kotun tarayya dake Abuja ta yi hukuncin killace asusan ajiya mallakar gwamnatin Kano matakin da ya fara jawo cece kuce bayan da commissioner shari'a na jihar Kano barista Haruna Isa Dederi ke cewar manakisa ce kawai da aka kirkiro domin dauke hankulan mutanen da ke yi musu addu'a kan shari'a da suke dako a gaban kotun kolin kasar tuni lauyoyin mu sun shiga aikin bin sawu domin gano daga inda wannan takarda ta fito dan daukar matakin da ya dace a bisa ta farkin shari'a idan maganar masallacin ED ne tuni wannan maganar ta bar gaban babba kotun tarayya da ke nan jihar Kano ta kuma koma kotun daukaka kara mai mazauni a nan Kano Al'uma su lura cewa ana so ne a dauke hankalin su domin su bar addu'o'in da suke yi game da neman samun nasaran mu a kotun kole wannan makirci ba zai nasara ba to amma su a nasu bangaren mutanen da wannan rusau ta jefa rayuwar su cikin garari sun fara bayyana farin cikin su bisa yadda kotu tai musu adalci sai dai sun ce wannan biliyan 30 da aka ce a ba su ba kudin asara da suka yi bane illa dai ladan gabi na razanar da su da aka yi kamar yadda shugaban kungiyar wadanda rusau ya shafa Alhaji Awwal Sa'id ya bayyana wannan biliyan 30 sakamako ne na razana mu da gwamnati tai ta shiga bukurun mu ba tare da umarnin kotu ba ta zo ta razana mu wannan shine biliyan 30 ba magana ake na hukunci na abin da muka rasa na dukiyoyi ko abin da muka rasa na rai ko abin da muka rasa na lafiya ba wannan yake abin da aka mana kowa al'umar mutane gari sun gani ko su zasu hukunci sun san cewa magana biliyan 30 ba shi ake ba to shin ko wannan hukunci zai iya shafar shari'ar gwamnatin Kano dake gaban kotun koli barista Sagir Suleiman Gezawa lauya ne mai zaman kansa a Kano shine ma shugaban kungiyar lauyoyi ta kasa reshen Kano ya ce ba ruwan biri da gada domin ai bikin magaji baya hana na magajiya ba wani na kasu ko wata illa da zai kawo dangane da shari'a da ake a Supreme Court shi rufe account yana zuwa ne mafi akasali idan akwai bincike na lefi wanda hukumomin tsaro za su iya saka post no debit suke cewa PND ko kuma court order ita kuma court order ita ma yana zuwa kashi biyu ne ko abin da muke cewa gani shi proceedings su kuwa mutanen gari musamman ma masu fashin baki kan lamuran yau da kullum irin su Abubakar Ibrahim gwamnati ikon Allah cewa yayi daman ya san za a rena wai an saci zanin mahaukaciya domin wannan ita kujera da muke magana akai kujera gwamna ita ta ba wa wani dama ya ba wa mutanen nan akan ka'ida masarauta ce ta yi takarda ta tura mata tana so a yanka masallacin ED a yi kantuna to saboda girman Allah sai wani ya samu dama bai bi ka'ida ba bai biya compensation ba bai ba da notice ba kawai ya rushe gurin mutane to shi yasa yanzu tunda kotu ta rufe account din jihar Kano cewa sai an biya naira biliyan 30 a biya su dama masifa ce a riga an tsokano ta yanzu ka dai gwamnatin jihar Kano ta ce tuni ta riga ya ta dauka karar kalubalantar hukuncin tunda farko sai dai yanzu kallo fa ya koma sama dan dakon ganin irin tasirin da wannan mataki zai kawo ga harkokin yau da kullum a jihar Kano Nasir Salis Zango Dida Bilu Hausa daga Kano Nigeria Roka dai ku shafa kuna tare da sashen Hausa na DW DW Ra'ayin malamai to kamar da yadda aka sani an fara wannan mako ne dai da mummunan labari na kai harin jiragen sama a jihar Kaduna na rasa kanne na rasa yaya na rasa yan uwa na sosai su ma likitoci suka ce abin da yafi firgita su baya ga irin rugurugu da aka yi da wasu abu kuma na karin ban takaici daban tausayi shine cewa yawancin su yara kanana ne da mata to shin masanan tsaro ku wana ganin wannan ganganci ne ko kuskure dan jin wadannan da sauran su sai a kasance da shirin mu na ra'ayin malamai da zai zo muku karshen mako to masararo sai a tara dan jin wannan shiri to zuwa bari mu je jamhuriyar Niger inda sakamakon damanar bana ke nuna cewa akwai baraza na karancin abinci sosai a jihar Tawa inda alƙalama suka tabbatar da cewa kalla sama da garuruwa 600 ne ke cikin matkar bukata wanda idan ba dauki matakin gaggawa ba al'umma za ta iya fadawa matsalan yunwa lakari da kullun iyakokin kasar da akai kamar da za ku ci karin bayani a cikin wannan rahoto da wakilin mu isu mamman ya aiko mana daga Tawa 
alkalima daga hukumomin jihar Sumbai na garuruwa Dama a matsayin mabukata sakamakon faduwar da minar bana abinda ya fasu a rukunin masu bukata sosai kamar yadda Alhaji Abdul Rufu Dodo shugaban da'irar tawa ya shedawa tashi WW tare da bayyana matakan gaggawar za su dauka akai muna da garuruwa wajen 25 mayayyan garuruna na noma da ya zan vraiment ba su samu cimaka wadatatta ba kenan doli cikin wannan akwai tsari kuma mu kan mu cikin kasafin kudin shekara da zamu shirye yanzu mun dauki niyyar zamu gani ya za a bi ko da wani kwambitar ne ko ko wani irin semas ne da ya dace abin da ya kamata mutane su samu su yi noma rani sakamakon wani ran gadin da gwamnatin jihar yayi a fadin jihar an samu garuruwa sama da dubu biyu na karkara da ke cikin barazanar karancin abincin wadanda kuma ya waje ba a kawo a daukin gaggawa domin kauce a barazanar karancin abincin da kan iya rikida ya zama yunwa a yankin baki daya inji malam sani na birni shugaban zauran wakilai a matakin jiha hatsari tunda garuruwa da dama tunda garuruwa nan cikin jahatawa wajen gari dubu biyu da aka yi tsammanin za su hadawa cikin halin kakanakai dan tunda za su hada cikin halin kakanakai tun yanzu kina kamata ai hange dan mu gani wani goyon baya aka iya a kawowa dan saboda wannan abin da shi zan matsala ko in ce da shi zan yunwa baya da rabawa jama'a iri da taki domin numar rani hukumomin sun ce za su fada da shirin nan na bada abinci kyauta yayin da za a sarwa wasu shi a farashi mai sauki kana cikin gaggawa to koya kungiyoyin manoma suka ji da wannan shirin da ke zaman albishir malam ala dan malam kakakin kungiyar manoma ta jahar tawa yace gaskiya wannan tunani da wannan magabata na musu kai na stallo fama al'umma saboda wannan shikara da ta zo da aka si to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala isa su yi shi cikin lokaci kuma wadanda ya dace a ba abin a tabbatar da abin ya kai ga hannuwan su saboda gaskiya ana cikin hali na maci na kumci kun ga dai yadda wannan takunkumai sun kamar mace mutane ko ta wani bangare kuma ga shikara ta zo mu mutane da ragani a rara karo kuma duk ya ta do dan kinge abin da aka sa a daruro kuma ta do ta cege wannan dai ba shirin karo na farko ba da kasar ke fuskantar makamancin wannan matsalar sai dai na wannan shekarar na tatar da kalubalen takunkumai tuni dai majiya karfi a yankin suka fara cirawa ya zuwa cirani kasashe makwabta irin su Algeria ko kuma Libya inda suka samu kwarin gwiwa tun bayan da aka soke dokar da ke haranta zirga-zirgar bakin haure isu mamman DW Hausa daga birnin Tawa Jumhuriyar Niger Ma'aikatun lafiya da na noma a kasar Malawi sun buƙaci tsaura da bincike da kuma sanya ido kan bullar annobar cutar dabbobi ta Antrax take shafar dan Adam Kaitsi. Wannan ne karo na biyu da aka samu bullar cutar ta Antrax a kasar. Musa Tijana Aba na da cigaban wannan rahoto. To na dai hukumomin Malawi suka ankarar da al'umar da ke zauna a garuruwan da ke kan iyakar kasar da Zambia da cutar ta fiyaduwa kan bullar wannan annoba da ake dauka sakamakon ta ammali da cin naman daji da bari da alade da shanu da dai sauran su da cutar ke haduwa zuwa garkuwar jikin dan adam they are calling us people to stop consuming animals as of now wannan muriya ce ta wani manomi da ke cewa suna bukatar mu daina cin nama kuma ba su doki mataki ba wajen yan riga kafi ga dabbobin da muke ci domin dakile haduwar cutar ya kamata a dauki mataki musamman a yankunan da ke kan iyakokin Malawi da Zambia to na dai hukumomin yankin Zimba suka dakatar da cikin nau'ikan nama a kasuwannin yankin tare da hana zarga-zargar dabbobi Dr. Gladson Kimwendo jami'i ne a sashen kula da cututtukan dabbobi na ma'aikatar noma ta Malawi ya ce a halin yanzu suna ban sahun duk inda aka samu bayanan bullar cutar We are still investigating our team went there they haven't yet Ya ce muna ci gaba da bincike tawakar jami'an mu suna aiki ba da riba rana kuma har yanzu suna can ba su kammal hada rahotannin su ba na yanayin yaduwar cutar ta Antrax da kuma musababban bullar cutar guda dai daga cikin dalilan da ke haddasa cutar shine cin nama ko kuma ta'ammali da dabbobin da ke dauke da cutar a halin yanzu dai ta tabbata akwai cutar a Zambia idan haka muna kira ga al'ummar mu da ke yankunan kan iyaka da safar ga Antrax da yi cuta ce da ke haduwa daga dabba zuwa mutun kamar yadda Amadam Sandumula farfe sa jami'ar Kumuzu sashen kula da lafiyar al'umma ke cewa akwai bukatar hada karfe da karfe tsakanin ma'aikatan lafiya da noma da kula da dabbobi domin ya karce cutar complete the investigation and understand how this happened and then ce kamala bincike kan musababban cutar tare da tattara bayanai kan abubuwan da ke faruwa kan iyakokin kasar tsakanin ma'aikatar lafiya ta Malawi da ta Zambia babu shakka zai taimaka kwarai kai har da ita kanta kasar ta Zambia 
dole ne masa'ido sosai mu kuma tabbatar da hakan Andrea Chibonke shine mai magana da yawo ma'aikatar lafiya ta Malawi ya tabbatar da cewa ta na aka jibke jami'an lafiya a yankin doman daukar matakin gaggawa ports of entry we are talking about the borders those of the airports yace a dukkan iyakokin mu kama daga na sandauri da ruwa da filayen jiragen sama akwai jami'an mu da ke tattara bayanai da kuma bincikar wadanda suka shigo daga Zambia kuma muna yiwa mutane gwajin zazzabi da zafi da samun hakan a jikin mutum ka iya tsananta bincikin mu wasu daga cikin alamun cutar ta anthrax mai yaduwa daga dabba zuwa mutum sun hadar da zazzabi da ciwo 